remember a time before the great quake. Before the climate refugees called FEMA camps home. Before the labor laws and infertilization program. They called her the lone survivor, the savior of the refugees. But I called her mom. This is life on the changing earth. Get the door, Jeannie. Yes, TJ. Can I please talk to TJ? What is your name, sir? Rex Bowman. Hold on. TJ? Send him in, Jeannie. Yes, TJ. He said you can come in. What the hell are you doing here? I'm confused. <laughs> I am not surprised. I've already been through the basic, TJ. Why don't I get a black shirt uniform? Have you trained to be a black shirt? No, but... You will address me as sir. And you will not wear a black shirt till you wear my initials on your back. What? Get on your knees. Yeah, yes, sir. You think you're something special because you were a fed? The feds are nothing but government bozos wandering around chasing their tails. No one that wears my initials will do any such thing. And no one without my initials will wear a black shirt. Give me a chance to earn your respect. You have to earn the respect of your trainer first. You think you get to come to me because I offered you a spot? Uh, well, I thought... You thought wrong. Get out of my house and get back to work. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Jeannie. Yes, TJ? I'm going out. Dinner when I get home. And tell Lawner to have a woman for me here tonight. What do you want to eat, TJ? Food. <laughs> Mr. Lee, can I talk to you for a moment? I need to talk to you as well. About what, sir? Nate left the training compound yesterday. Yes, sir. Did you authorize him to take supplies to Teresa? Yes, sir. Hmm. He said there was an incident at the mill. He made sure his respect was maintained. Oh, did he? Yes, sir. Can he do both, sir? What are you talking about? Can he have a family and be a fighter? Could you? If she wouldn't have run, yes, sir. I could have. Do you think he'll be able to take care of his responsibilities? I do, sir. Yeah, he's one of your top fighters. Allowing him some privileges is okay. You think so? Are you jealous, son? Answer the question. You jealous? I don't know, Mr. Lee. It is what it is. You could have a kid, TJ. I know. But all you choose is refugee hookers. I wanted to talk to you about Bowman. The fuck is that? Are you changing the subject? You told me I would need a strong woman to stand at my side. I haven't found one strong woman yet. I can respect that. What about Bowen? How long until he can run the gauntlet? We got work to do there. He knows the federal network. Push him hard. I want him in the field. Assign him to Sergey. Serge hates his guts. Perfect. <laughs> I'll make sure it happens. Patrice, what are you doing here tonight? Hi, DJ. I came to see Mr. Lee. Come on in. Have a seat. Thank you. What's on your mind, Patrice? Yuri has asked for a lot more potatoes than we are producing. <laughs> he and that damn vodka. It gets put to good use over at the medical facility too, DJ. It's impossible to fill his order. We will have to expand some facilities to ensure we can continue production on that scale. Make it happen. What are you doing tonight, Patrice? I'm headed home, DJ. I'll get the construction crews on it in the morning. You want to come back to my house? We're having a party tonight. Sure, that sounds like fun.
Good morning, Cupcake. How are we feeling this morning? Fine. In fact, I feel so good, I think I'm going to head into town with Earl today. Erica, wait up. Is Corporal Avery available to accompany me? Why do you want to go to town? When we were shopping the other day, I saw they have a library. It's been a while since I had a new book to read. That's fine. Sergeant Avery. Yes, sir. You're going to accompany Erica to the library today. Yes, sir. Did someone say they needed a ride? Thanks, Earl. Erica, to the library, and that's it. I know. Everyone all set? Let's go. There's a light at the end of the road that I'm aiming for. I don't see shit, but I know it's there. There's a shore in the middle of the storm. We could rest up on. I don't see yet, but I know it's there. I'll pick you up at five. Sounds good. I'm going to pick out some books. You can hang here if you want, Avery. Yes, ma'am. Sometimes things happen beyond your control As if they have a life of their own Oh, Daniel will love this. And Dexter will love this one. Modern Law. Oh, this should be good. It's easy to play alone after you see what the choices came to be Like a storm that's passed on The Federal Emergency Management Agency used those executive orders to take control. That's how they reallocated the resources. Nobody protested it. Who would have thought this would happen? Trying to remember all the that went down I don't know what your intention was Oh please on your knees A man watch you defend I'm right therefore I fight You're wrong This fight is lifelong <laughs> Major Virgis, what are you doing here? Bennett told me Erica came into town today. That's right. She wanted to go to the library. Has she always liked to read? Sure. It made Christmas easy. <laughs> you always know what to get her. That's right. How's she settling in? Okay, I guess. I don't see too much of her. She spends a lot of time in the woods when she's home. Is it safe? I would say so, but we have a lot of land. What about the family? You know where Dexter is. I wish Daniel would have chosen to attend school, but he's doing well with his studies. Star's a hard worker. She and Sean are usually at the band events during the evening. What's going to happen to them, Virgis? At the meeting? Yes. You know the board has the authority to sense them as well as I do. I can't lose them again. This is strictly between me and you, but I'm worried about the feds advancing on the north. Would they do that? I think they're preparing to. The mercs want to restore the constitution. <laughs> You sound like my daughter-in-law. Why do you think we brought her home, Earl? They'll never be able to leave their past behind them. No, her legend is too big. What do you need me to do? I need you to be ready. I have plans to evacuate West, but you must be prepared to execute them. I'll protect your family. Evacuate us to the West? You're expecting us to leave? We'd be refugees. I hope it never comes that, Earl. Trust me, I do. I'm sorry. I have to get into the surgery room. Don't let me keep you, but I want to keep you abreast of the situation. I appreciate that, Major. Disaster Coffee is fueling disaster relief in America. Our coffee is roasted to order and shipped to your front door. You cannot get it any fresher. 
Visit DisasterCoffee.com and caffeinate with a purpose. That's DisasterCoffee.com. The Constitution of the United States of America. We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our prosperity to ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. Amendment 1. Freedom of religion, press, expression. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercises thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people to peacefully assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. Amendment 2. Right to bear arms. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. <laughs> no wonder they had to get rid of this thing. I wonder when they got rid of it. Oh, how about that? Have you been in a time machine? I'm sorry. It looks as if you're reading those stories for the first time. Oh, I am, actually. That's why I asked if you were in a time machine. I've been in a refugee camp. Then what are you doing in a landowner library? It was a mix-up. We weren't supposed to be there. Then you must be Erica Moore. I heard your family's land was in this region. It appears you have me at a loss. Gwen Farley. I'm the elected official for the Congressional Party in the region. Really? I wouldn't have expected that. Why, because I'm so young? No. Because you're so... normal. My dad was the CEO of a pharmaceutical company, and now he manages vaccinations and disease prevention. Basically, he still runs a pharmaceutical company. I've been assigned as his replacement. Assigned? Yeah, everyone has a place we fit in to keep society running. Mon is taking my father's job when he's no longer fit to do it anymore. Where have you been assigned? I don't really know. We're just settling in. My husband works his father's farm. There you go. You'll be resigned to manage the farm's refugees, taxes, production schedules, and food requirements. Sounds like fun. Erica, it's time to go. It was nice meeting you, Gwen. TJ, I've been looking for you everywhere. What? Oh, hi, Patrice. Hi, Yuri. What in the hell do you want, Yuri? Jimmy Tran is here? Where? He's waiting inside the front gate. I didn't want to bring him to your home. Smart move, Yuri. Let's go say hello. I can head home, TJ. If you have business to attend to. Nonsense. Yuri, where is Sergey? He's at the gate. Escort Patrice to my home. I'll meet Jimmy and meet you there. Yes, TJ. Jimmy Tran, what brings you by? I have news from the West. It must be some story if you came yourself. Am I not welcome here, sir? I'm still trying to make up my mind. TJ, sir, I've been nothing but loyal. Every delivery has been made on time. If you're here, you need something. You're not wrong, sir. You know I love that quality about you. Honesty. I have news regarding the militia and mercenary movement, sir. Tonight is not a night for business, Jimmy. Come to my home and drink with me. You and your men are welcome. Thank you, sir. I've got a shot ready for you, TJ. Line some up for Jimmy as well. Patrice, thank you for waiting for me. Of course, sir. Nate, get up. Yes, sir. Patrice, sit down by me. What do you like to drink? I don't know, sir. I don't think you would have any. Alcohol that DJ doesn't have? 
Now I'm curious. <laughs> Yuri, shut your mouth. Let the woman speak. I could go for a petit sirop. <laughs> You're right. I don't have any of that. Nate. Yes, sir. Go ask Therese if she has any of the wine she uses for cooking. TJ, sir. What? Give me one second, sir, and I believe I can make your beautiful guest a happy woman. <laughs> You're full of surprises. What do you think, Patrice? Do you have the patience to wait for Jimmy? I think so. But it better be good. <laughs> Couldn't agree more. I do believe I could think of a penalty if it doesn't meet your standards. Let's string him up, TJ. He will look beautiful with your initials on his back. <laughs> Joking, DJ. Okay, Jimmy. Let's see what you got. Terry. Yes, sir. Get the gifts we brought. Oh, yes, sir. Yuri, go with him and check the supplies. You go with him, CJ. I'm not yours to order. Yuri, go. Yes, DJ. shoot those with your bow? I sure did. Look at you. All that farm work you've been doing is making you strong. Yeah, check out my biceps. Dang, but you're filthy. Why don't you come get a shower? We're finishing up our game of soccer. I gotta get these birds clean. Shower when you're done. Okay, Mom. Hold on. Wait for the morning. Till the sun comes over the hills, make your call loud and clear. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dex. You're back early. We're doing an early session tomorrow. I'll have to get up at three. I'm surprised Bennett's not running that. How's it going? It's good. Trucker is perfect. We are going to smoke that test. And? What? Mayor Garland came out to the base today. Did he bring Carolyn? She's so beautiful, Mom. What's a guy gotta do to get a girl like that? Be true to himself. <laughs> That's exactly what I'd expect my mom to say. Did you talk to Grandma Nancy today? No, I will tomorrow. It sucks I can't really talk to her. Hopefully we can bring her home soon. Just the two I wanted to see. Can you come out and help fix some of the harvest bins tomorrow? I have an early morning session tomorrow. We should be done by two. I was going to go to the library tomorrow. You've been there twice this week. I know, I've been talking with Gwen about the regional meeting. That's just a formality. Yeah. Did you get these today? Yeah. You're not supposed to be taking your rifle out. I know. I took my bow. Look at you, ninja girl. Where's Sean and Star? I can ask them to help. Star is one of two places. With Kay, we're setting up a show for Sean's band. She's been spending a lot of time with my mom, hasn't she? Star's excited to find out about her family. Kay's excited to finally have a granddaughter. They're so cute. If you want to... waiting for us. Mom, Dad, Dexter, we need more players. Gage got Vanessa and Megan to join, and now our team is short. I'll be done in a sec. Oh, come on! Don't worry, big bro's coming. All right! We finally made it, Vince. I think everyone is finally settling in. And you're looking strong again as well. It's a lot of work. Evan does a fine job managing that. Doesn't your dad want you to be the one managing it? He would like that. And I'm sure I'll learn all the regulations eventually. But honestly, I'm just happy to have time with my family. How are you to know? How are you to know? It's all the things you do. I 
let's play some soccer. Let's do it. For the lady, an unopened bottle of Petite Cyril. Get her a glass. Yes, teacher. With respect, TJ, you can't serve Petite Cyril in a tumbler. He's right, TJ. It's best in a proper wine glass. <laughs> You're not going to find any of those fancy glasses around here. I just happened to have brought one along. Gold trim? Very nice. Jimmy prides himself on his gold plating. I noticed your beautiful firearms. Sandra and Sasha, they've never let me down. Let me pour that for you, ma'am. Very nice, Jimmy. And for you, sir, a bottle of King James III Cognac. May I? I can pour my own drink. You did well, Jimmy. Thank you, sir. I had no idea you'd have such a fine woman here. Is she taken? She's a free woman. Ask her. Please, excuse my hair, ma'am. I had no idea TJ kept such fine company. What kind of company did you assume I kept? We can still string him up, TJ. I'm sorry, TJ. I didn't mean... You brought your top fighters with you? Yes, sir. The road is long. Let's go to the pit. Your top three fighters versus mine. You win, you can have whatever supplies you want. But you will wear my initials if my fighters win. If that's the case, I'd fight my own battle. <laughs> I knew I liked you for a reason. What do you think, Patrice? Should I let him fight? He looks solid and crafty. It will be entertaining. He does look like a crafty fighter. And his offer is very unexpected. Let me fight him, TJ. I'll put him in his place. If Jimmy's going to fight, I will fight him. Let's go. This will be fun. <laughs> you want to watch me destroy this little man? I bet he'll put up a worthy fight. TJ, sir, uh, I don't want to fight you. <laughs> Jimmy, you're a leader. You deserve to face the best if you're going into the ring. Have some self-respect, man. But sir, I... TJ, please let me fight tonight. Sounds good. Sir J, you're up as well. Yes, TJ. Come on, Patrice. You can have the winner tonight. <laughs> I could use a good foot massage. Come on, we're headed to the pit. Jimmy Train has challenged me to a fight. Patriots, Bravo Echo here. Are you paying attention to what is happening in our great nation? Are you prepared? If not, come see us at HopeForSurvival.com. That's HopeForSurvival.com. Be safe and be blessed. Come in. Is Bennett in here? He is. Come in. I want to talk to you anyway. What's up? Tomorrow's the regional meeting. You mean the trial for my family? Good. You told her already, Bennett. I didn't tell her. I've been educating myself on the new system. I thought you were reading fiction. I thought you weren't hiding information from me. Erica, you need to understand. There are things you don't need to know. Your family deserves some peace, and we provide for your safety. <laughs> of course. What's so funny? If I had a penny for every time I've heard people in power say that to me, I'd be living in the central region. There is such a thing as plausible deniability. Whatever you need to tell yourself, Major. Erica, show the man respect. He's been keeping your family safe for a lot longer than you know. I'm sorry, and I appreciate what you did for us. Thank you. I'm trying to tell you that the board can put your family in a federal prison camp. What? Wouldn't we just go back into the refugee system? No, refugees who incite riots are usually put to death. But given your past, they would probably just put you away where you would never be found. <laughs> oh, this is grand. Why didn't you tell me sooner? We didn't want you to worry. You needed the rest. Next time you decide what I need, try asking me first. Why tell me now? What do you want from me? I need you to stay tempered. Tell your story and make your mark. But don't disrespect the delegates, especially Grace and Webb. 
The old stuffy guy with the beard and the scarf? <laughs> yeah, that guy. You need to tell Vince, too. Why don't you brief him? Hell, tell the whole family. They follow your lead. Are we done here? If this is my last free night, I'd like to spend it with my family. I've said what I need to. It's up to you, Erica. Come on, let's go. morning, TJ. Would you like some coffee? Get me a bottle. Yes, TJ. Good morning, Jeannie. Is TJ up? Yes, ma'am. What's for breakfast? Bacon and eggs with potato hash. It looks perfect. Excellent job, young lady. Thank you, ma'am. What are you doing with whiskey this early in the morning? TJ. Please give it to me. Yes, ma'am. Good morning, mm. TJ. Good morning, woman. What are you stirring about? Nothing. TJ, you still stink of alcohol from last night. Jeannie, get me a coffee. Yes, TJ. What are you doing here this early anyway? I wanted you to hear it from me. Hear what? Nate has been sneaking out of the house in the morning. You know how I'll have to respond. I know. Good morning, Mary. Jeannie, you are so beautiful in the morning sunlight. Would you like to give Yuri a kiss? Yuri, leave the girl alone. TJ, I can't believe you didn't mark the little bastard. Oh, sorry, Teresa. I didn't know you were here. Good morning, Yuri. I was just leaving. Have a nice day, boys. Here's your coffee, TJ. What are you doing drinking that shit? When there's a bottle of whiskey right there. We've got a lot to do today. So what's the deal with Tren? You won the fight. He's been honest, loyal, hardworking, and he fought with honor. Did he impress you? He did. He earned my respect. What do you want, Genie? Did you come to give Yuri that kiss? Yuri, shut your mouth. You touch that girl, and you will wear my initials. Okay, DJ. I'm sorry. What, Genie? Would Yuri like breakfast? There. You see that, Yuri? She came to offer you food, and you act like an ass. Thank you, Jeannie. I would like breakfast. Hold on a second. Where's your food? I didn't know Yuri was coming. You gave him your serving? Of course, TJ. We're leaving after breakfast. You make yourself whatever you want to eat when we go. Thank you, TJ. Good girls get rewards. Thank you, TJ. What are you doing? Your eggs are getting cold. They're fine. You're glowing in the dark. You're glowing in the dark. Glowing in the dark. I feel it in my heart. You're glowing in the dark. Glowing in the dark. Yeah, you're glowing in the dark. That was nice last night. What did I do to deserve that? Nothing. What's up, Erica? Something Virgis told me. What? It's not a meeting, Vince. We're going on trial today. They have prison camps as well as FEMA camps. What are you saying, Erica? They could lock us up? For what? I've been studying the new refugee laws. The most punishable crimes are rebellion against the government and harming soldiers. We've done both. But we were in that place. We didn't know. I know. That's what I keep telling myself. But we both know what happened at the camp. Technically, we didn't kill any soldiers there. But we did take action against them when they came to arrest us. What, we're just supposed to sit there and do nothing while our children screamed in the other room? Yes. They were there lawfully, and we didn't go willingly. But we were landowners then. My parents were searching for us, and Matthew was going to kill us. But Vince, nobody else knows that except Matthew. And Master Sergeant Bennett. Yeah, but Matthew didn't tell him that himself. He was told by another guard that's loyal to the government. 
Sergeant Bennett arrested us on rumors of us leaving. We should have been able to leave because we were landowners. And then they put out the wanted message over the radio. Everyone heard that. I don't know what will happen, Vince. I don't know. But I do know, landowner or not, once we're in federal custody for whatever crime, escaping is severely punishable. Whether we were right or wrong won't matter. I just wanted to let you know what we're up against here. These are not the laws of the country that we used to know. The Constitution has been circumvented. I'm just not sure how they'll handle this. Damn, I was looking forward to this. I didn't even realize all this crap was hanging over us. No, Erica, you know what? This sucks. Look what happened to Dexter and Star. I just wanted to tell you before we left so you can help minimize damage. Minimize damage? They're lucky I'm not ripping them a new asshole. See, this is why I had to give you a heads up. We can't get all crazy. Well, isn't that the pot calling the kettle black? I've just faced many facts since we got here, Vince. One of them is that we're still prisoners. Just in a much bigger camp. Ah, this is bullshit. Come on, we gotta go. Sometimes things happen beyond your control As if they have a life of their own the Choices you make, what appears to be right Seems you just have no say As if you're a witness to your own mistakes It's easy to play along After you see what the choices came to be Like a storm that's passed on Hey everyone, this is Phil Rabley from the Matter Facts Podcast, voicing the role of Cole Virgis. If prepping guns and politics sounds like your cup of tea, come check out the Matter Facts Podcast every Friday on iTunes, Stitcher, and Spotify with my co-host, Andrew Bobo. Get DJ Genie. But he's eating. Now. Yes, sir. I heard him. Go finish your dishes. What do you want? And who the hell is she? Please take me back to my handler. Please, please, please take me back. We called her what? last night what? trying to break yeah. into the medical facility. I need more. Give me more. Take me to my handler. Calm down. Do you know who I am? Look, mister, I need to go back to my handler. I don't give a shit who you are. Please take me back. Chicks don't act this way when they do coke, DJ. What is it? I don't know. Bring her in. Put her in the chains. No, no! You have to take me back. What is wrong with this bitch, Sergei? I don't know. Elton found her. Just trying to break into the medical facility. Now, all she will say is she wants to go back to her handler. Why? I don't know, Yuri. That's why we brought her here. No, no, please take me back! Anthony, go look up her tracking number and bring her handler here. Yes, sir. His name is Rutherford. Please take me back to him. You're a long way from home, girly. He told me he could get me more. He told me we could leave. Who did? Dennis said there would be more water and we would be okay. What is he talking about, DJ? Sergey, do you know? Please, I need more water. Rutherford has the water. I don't know, DJ. <laughs> Shit! Yuri, Sergey, get her down! Jeannie, <laughs> go get me the doctor. Yes, DJ? This woman is strong. Hold her, Yuri. Hold her up. Here, honey, drink this. Thank you, ma'am. Stand against the wall. Yes, ma'am. What the hell is that? Forget me not. Dr. Bones' cocktail? Yes, TJ. You don't have to put her in chains as long as she has the forget me not in her system. She won't remember anything but her handler and the directions she's given. 
She must be in pain. She can't feel it. She'll do whatever you tell her. Oh, that could be very useful. Dr. Bowen said he was going to send us over a shipment. There's a box of it at the medical center. Give me a vial of it. Yes, TJ. TJ, don't taste it. It doesn't take much to have an effect. Forget me not. Come here, girly. Yes, sir. Who are you? I belong to Commander Rutherford. You belong to me now. What would you like me to call you, sir? Master. Yes, Master. Get on your knees. Yes, Master. <laughs> That's incredible. You have got to get Lordner some of this stuff, TJ. That's the plan, Yuri. You want me to take her to Rutherford, TJ? No, I want her. Give him another refugee in exchange. Yes, TJ. Come here, girly. Yes, master. This is your room. You'll stay here until I call for you. Yes, master. You know, Erica, my dad really didn't want Daniel going to sit with the refugees. He wanted to sit by Gage. They're friends. What's the harm in it? I don't see any. But Dad's pretty adamant about making sure he stays with the landowners. Daniel hates that stuff. And at least they didn't have to sit front and center with us. That's the truth. Here they come. We know Grayson and Elena. She caught us in, and we met him at that party. Right. They're social safety party members and sit on the federal governing board. That's Gwen. I met her at the library. She's with Pierce Dixon. Didn't we meet him at the party? They represent the congressional party, right? Yes. Julietta and that guy, Trace Cook, represent the congressional party. And that dude is the FEMA director from the northern region. His name is Edison Carver. This meeting is called to order. Let's address the monthly ration reports. I can't take much more of this. I'm gonna fall asleep. They have to be almost done. And now to the matter of the day, the Moore family incident. Vince Moore, when were you and your family first taken into custody as refugees? <clears throat> well, let's see. I waited three months for my wife to make it home after she crawled out of Sacramento. Then it took a few months to get out of California after the borders were shut down. So I would say it was the November after the great quake. Quiet people, we will have order in here. So you were some of the first refugees taken to the Las Vegas camp? Yes, sir. We helped build it. Mr. Carver, you have discussed this case in depth with Mr. Tweed, correct? That's correct. Why were these refugees' paperwork not correctly filed with the FEMA Search Coalition? This family arrived very early and was never adopted. Their file became buried in an overworked system. And why were they never adopted out? Because, sir, there were multiple reports of insubordination to the guards and Mr. Tweed, and direct insubordination to landowners. Specifically from Miss Erica Moore, Vince's report shows exceptional performance while managing the camp's indoor garden operation. We were confused after the great quake and uncertain of the new laws that have been put in place. I've heard it said that you helped play a critical role in organizing a refugee rebellion against the camp in which soldiers were attacked. Is this true? Yes, it is. Order, order. Freedom! Get him out of here. What explanation do you have for such a heinous crime against the federal government? It was after you all passed the infertility law. 
My babies were being taken away to have the sterilization operation. Several years after this horrible incident, you were still given a position of honor in the rescue squad. Were you not? Yes. After they took my children and mutilated them, after spending weeks in a metal box in the Las Vegas sun trying to protect my children, after years of enduring life in the camp, we were offered an illustrious position in the rescue squad. I will empty this room if I have to, people. This is when the names matched the search list, correct, Mr. Carver? Correct, ma'am. Why were they not immediately removed? I don't have that answer, ma'am. The explanation I received was that they were scheduled to go out on a mission that was already funded and prepared. They were going to be released when they returned. But they were arrested instead by you, isn't that correct, Master Sergeant Bennett? Yes, ma'am. Why was this course of action taken, Master Sergeant? Ma'am, Mrs. Erica Moore, Rescue Squad Leader Moore at the time, informed me of their plan to flee the camp despite her status on the rescue team. I was unaware of her family's landowner status and acted according to the FEMA camp procedures. Clear the room! Master Sergeant Bennett, did Vince and Erica take action against the soldiers the night they were taken into federal custody? Did they take action against you? Master Sergeant Bennett, please answer the question. Yes, ma'am, they did. After they were arrested, they escaped, correct? Yes, sir. Master Sergeant Bennett, were you rescue recruit Moore's commanding officer at the time? No, sir. Commander Burns was the commanding officer. I was Recruit Moore's training officer, and we trained together, often on the base. So you two became close? It depends on what you mean by close. We were training partners and often part of the same missions. I did come to know the woman reasonably well, though, yes. Was there a riot the night they escaped? Yes, sir. Master Sergeant Bennett, please answer this question very carefully. Do you believe that Erica and Vince Moore helped to plan the riot that night? No, sir. They escaped through the Badlands until you and Major Virgis captured them. Is that correct? Yes, sir. We will take a five minute break to discuss this information further. Please wait outside. Thanks a lot, Sergeant. Whatever comes of this, I've got your back, guys. But the truth must be told. Stories like yours are the only way to convince them that what they're doing is wrong. I know. I hope they see it the same way. This is bullshit. All right. They're ready for you. We have concluded that because of the cross-regional circumstances and the intricacies of this case, we're referring it to the Federal Governing Board for decision. You're free to return home, but you will be under supervision by the mercenary forces at all times. You are dismissed. You lied to me, Bennett. We were being guarded because of all of this, weren't we? Yes, but you would have gone off the deep end if I would have told you that. Can't I decide that in the future? <sighs> sure thing, Cupcake. Imagine if they knew about all those soldiers on your little foray across the country. They... I... Blew your mind, didn't I, Cupcake? Come on, let's go. Don't worry, my lips are sealed.
Thanks for listening to the Changing Earth audio drama. This content is copywritten in 2023 by author Sarah F. Hathaway. Special thanks to featured musician Five Times August. Find his latest hits at fivetimesaugust.com. Get to know our amazing performers and listen to the soundtrack at changingearthseries.com. Special thanks to Zap Splat, freesound.com, and freemusicarchives.com. Find all the music and sound attributes at author Sarah F. Hathaway dot com backslash soundtrack stay tuned for more of the changing earth adventure